Hey, hey, everybody, it's Melissa Feetum, and we are going to rock and roll with a turkey trot. Uh, so if you guys have never seen or heard of a turkey trot, or maybe you have heard of one, uh, give me a shout out below. Tell me if you've ever done a turkey trot or you have no clue what Melissa's talking about tonight. Either way, you you can learn something out of this training tonight. Now, uh, this is a different kind of training than you guys are used to, so I'm pretty excited to share this with you guys. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Tracy. Uh, this is going to be a PowerPoint training, and this is a full-on training uh, right on the Directly Social Melissa Feedsome page. So if you guys are just jumping on, share this with your peeps. We are going to go through a PowerPoint presentation on how to rack up some sales in November. Why are we talking about November when it's October? Because y'all got a plan. If you don't have a plan, uh, you're, you're not going to get any sales and you, you certainly aren't going to get those turkey trotters like you need to and be prepared like you need to. So super excited. Uh, uh, we are going to get started on this PowerPoint. Share this with your peeps uh, if you can. And uh, we are going to flip the switch and go over here to our PowerPoint. So here we go. We are going to talk all about the turkey trot, what it is, and how you can increase your sales. Now, this is all from last year, and it also has to do with my business because that's the only way that I can show you. Um, but what the heck is a turkey trot? So the idea of a turkey trot is to have a certain number of people collecting um, orders, okay? So they're supposed to collect a certain amount of orders. You take all of those orders and you put them together and you enter them as one big party. Then you take the hostess benefits and of that party and you split them up between the people who collected all of those orders. So it's a different way to do a party. Now let me show you some little tips and tricks. So this is from last year. Uh, this was our flyer from last year. And you can see that basically we had six people. Now this went to our actual hosts. Um, so this wasn't actually the breakdown, but you can see that um, we had six people collect uh, $100 a piece. And um, when we did that, 31, uh, three people, I can't get my mouse to work, hold on. Three people got $31 in free product, two got any item at half price, two got a free hostess exclusive, and one got a hostess special. So we only had six people uh, participating, but guess what? We had three, four, five, six, seven, eight gifts. So actually everybody ended up getting uh, more than they bargained for. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go through this. This is a really fun thing to do during the hol holidays. So we do this all year long. Okay. So in January, we call it the snowman shuffle. In December, we call it the reindeer romp. In uh, February, we call it the cupid shuffle. In October, we call it boo bags. In July, we, or June, we call it the summer six pack. In um, July, we call it the firecracker frenzy. So you will see these named uh, lots of different things, but the concept of it is exactly the same. So you can see, um, basically, once you have those six people uh, to collect $100, so we're, we're breaking it down and saying, okay, we want six people to collect $100 in orders. And now, once we get our six people, what are we going to do with that? So the turkey trot is meant to be fun. Please understand that the turkey trot is meant to be fun fun. This is not a boring hostess packet. So you're going to, um, you're going to put these hostess packets together, but you're going to do it in a very fun way. I want it to be flashy and this is meant to be all over social media. So 
only thing that you need to know that goes in your your packets is is your basic stuff okay so you want to put a turkey trot flyer explaining what they need to do and the breakdown of the benefits for them you're going to have uh, two to three catalogs and then you want to put any holiday flyers or mini catalogs whatever it is that you have uh, in there also you need um, door price slips so if you have any type of door price slips uh, this is a really great way to get your hostess uh, to say, hey, I'm going to give you an extra perk if you get five people to fill out door price slips for me. Those door price slips are basically just their name, their email. Do you want to book a party? Are you interested in more information about uh, the opportunity to join my team? Uh, so you can get five people to fill that out. So basically, you know, she's going to work. Let's say she works at a bank. She's going to work. She gets five of her friends to fill that out. It's just a, an extra way to make some long term contacts out of somebody just collecting $100 in orders. Just a fun way. Okay, so uh, you're also going to have some order forms, uh, how to order guide, your monthly special flyer. This is exactly what you put in every hostess packet, right? But, <coughs> excuse me, this is a turkey trot, and these need to be fun, okay? So your turkey trot, you're going to put, um, you're going to go to the Dollar Tree, and you're going to find um, little turkey bobbleheads because those are the coolest things ever around um, uh, Thanksgiving. They have these little solar bobbleheads that are turkeys. Okay, you got to get those. Um, they also have pot holders. <clears throat> Most of the time they come two to a pack and you can pull those apart and, uh, it, and, and it's at the Dollar Tree. So it's only costing you 50 cents per pot holder, right? So they have these cute little turkey pot holders. They have measuring spoons, measuring cups, turkey napkins, turkey uh, tablecloths, <clears throat> all kinds of things. Um, they also have these little cute salt and pepper shakers. Um, so all kinds of things, just think food, think um, Thanksgiving, and anything that would be fun in there. I put two to three things in each bag. So you're essentially spending about two to three dollars on every uh, person who's collecting a hundred dollars in order. You're just making these packets so much fun to, to blast them all over social media, okay? So your social media, what are we talking? We need to put this on Instagram. We need to put this on your customer group. We need to put this on your business page. We need to make a YouTube video. We need to put this on Pinterest. We need to do a Facebook Live. You need to do Instagram stories. You need to put it on your blog if you have a blog. You need to try to get people to share this. Do a giveaway for your customers to actually share this post when you get it going or you do a Facebook Live, do a giveaway and say, if you share this, you're going to be entered in to win blah, 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 or gobble, 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 right? Okay, so how do you enter this? Okay, so this is this is taking all of those orders that people get. Now, I'm going to break this down uh, the only way I know how, and that's with our benefits, okay? So we're going to take a party that hits $600. So we take six people collecting $100 in orders, all right? Now I have six trotters and they're all gonna collect $100 in orders. We're gonna add all those orders together and enter as one big party. And then we're gonna divide those hostess benefits six ways. Now, we have new hostess benefits. So those are going to change from what we're used to uh, doing from last year. So I had to I had to flip my own little switch uh, and, and get my button gear on um, breaking down uh, hostess benefits for a $600 party. But that's all you're going to do. You're going to break down the benefits of a, uh, you know, a party. Now your, your party averages may be um, um, different than ours. So you might need to break that into um, three people collect $100 in orders and it's a $300 total party, okay? So whatever your hostess benefits are, pick a level you want them to get to and then divide that to where people collect a certain amount of orders to hit a certain party level. Now, this is what I did. Four people earn $30 in free product. And um, that is, uh, you know, six, a $600 party for us is $120 in hostess credit. So um, four of those people are, are going to earn $30 in free credit. 
Two of them are going to earn any item half off. Two are going to earn a hostess exclusive item. And one person is going to earn a hostess special. So you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gifts for six people. So guess what? The first three people who turn in their orders are going to get to choose what they want and they get two gifts. How about that? Or you could do it. The highest totals get to pick two. Okay. So things to remember about these turkey trots. You have to keep in contact with these people just as much as your regular hostess because I'm going to tell you right now, if this, my turkey trotter, my turkey trotters, they have higher averages uh, than the $100 in orders, okay? I let them know that they get a prize for every $100 in orders they collect, and it pushes them to reach more than $100. People are quicker to say, yeah, let me, let me collect $100 in orders. I can do that. But guess what? When they get that $100 in orders, you go, you know what? You are at $125 in orders. If you get to 200, you get two of those gifts. So you actually get to push them uh, to collecting $200 in orders instead of 100. So think about that. Don't just, just push for the 100. Make sure that you're pushing for a normal party average um, where they could end up having you know, all the hostess benefits of a regular party. So let them know the first to turn in their orders get to pick their prize. Or like I said, you could do the top three uh, sellers get to pick their prizes first. And this encourages them to get them turned in quickly and helps you pick those prizes. So determine that before you push this out. Close all orders by November 28th. Do not wait till the end of the month to close these parties. <clears throat> it's the busiest time of the year. And you want to make sure that you get all of these in. You're not stressed out. Your customers are not stressed out. You want this to be fun. You don't want it to be stressful. Make sure you give them extra mini catalogs to pass out. Make one event on your event um, <clears throat> page on your website titled Turkey Trot and let them know that people can order online, but you'll just have to know who it was in order to uh, put it towards their total. Some extra little giblets for you. If they don't collect $100, it's okay. You have one or two orders. If, if they had one or two orders, <clears throat> they still got your name out there a little bit. And I would probably still give them a little gift for trying. I always do because they actually tried. You never want to deflate somebody. Sorry, you didn't get $100 in orders. You don't get anything. Um, no, send them something uh, and tell them you appreciate them so much for trying. Most people will collect more than $100. So even if one person backs out, you're usually still okay. And you have to, you have enough to divvy up those hostess gifts still. Set up one Facebook group for all your turkey trotters and invite them to uh, uh, tell them to invite their friends. Um, so it's kind of like a Facebook party for all your trotters in one group. Have a trot tracker. I can't tell you this enough. I really can't. Um, sometimes this gets crazy. I've had up to 17 turkey trotters at one time. And it's a nightmare if you're not tracking it. So make sure that you have a to-do list, um, a tracker. You know, we use this. We have their name, their phone number, their address. Did I ship their packet? Yes. Um, have I done my first check-in with them? Yes. Have I collected their orders? Yes. What is their prize? Here it is. Um, deliver their packets. What the due date is. You keep track of everyone so you can literally go down your, your list of names and contact everybody, uh, you know, very systematically. So make sure that you have a system of um, tracking who your hostesses are. Uh, da, 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 just kidding. Sorry about that. Okay. Hostess coaching, send out a pre-made text that they can copy and paste for texting their friends. Okay. This is so easy. Um, just make a little graphic and, and give them a link to the party uh, and, and give them something tangible to copy and paste to their friends. Make it so easy easy that there's no way they couldn't collect $100 in orders. And then you also want to have a pre-made post and graphic for their Facebook page so they can share that on Facebook too. Okay. These are just all the little things that you need to think about with a turkey job. And most important is follow up. Okay. Follow up. I say it all the time. A sale is a dead end. If you are not doing follow up, 
that sale doesn't mean anything. You want to ask them the most important question of rebooking. So let's go over here and let's talk about what that rebooking conversation looks like. When that person turns in their turkey trot orders, you need to be like, hey, Jenny, guess what? So your total is $29.87 for your hostess orders, but I'm going to take $5 off your order tonight if you rebook for a Cupid Shuffle in February with a brand new catalog. What do you think? It'll be just like this. It'll be so easy for you. So there you're essentially rebooking her for the same exact thing in February, or you could do a, a bunny hop in March, whatever you wanted to do, pre fill your calendar. Okay. Uh, I already had five parties on the books for October when we hit October because this is how we do it. So make sure that you are, you know, crossing all the T's, you're, you're dotting your I's, you're making your checklist, and you're doing this systematically. If you really focus on making this a huge success, you can. I see people say it all the time. I've tried a turkey trot and it doesn't work. Well, you know what? I tried to ride a bike once and it was pretty disastrous, but I kept trying and it finally worked out for me. Um, so I've probably forgotten how at the moment, but uh, you can't uh, just do something once and expect to have it be a success. That's not how it how it works. Uh, you have to keep trying and trying and trying. Uh, I wouldn't be here today if I stopped doing things every time something didn't work. Uh, no, I said that didn't work. How can I make it work? That's that's how you become successful. That's that's how you um, stay plugged in, and that's how you survive in direct sales and thrive in direct sales is you never give up. You just figure out what didn't work and you make it work. So uh, here's to some really, really great turkey trots. I really hope that this helps you guys. I really hope that um, I would love to see your flyers and your ideas. And I want to see like your packets and um, what you're posting on Facebook. You know, I would love to see pictures of your bags. Let's help each other out. We are all in this industry and we can all make it better together. So I would love to see everybody ideas coming together post them on the directly social page um, join us over in the Facebook group we do lots of stuff over in the directly social group so post your pictures over there too um, let's have a lot of fun with this turkey trot um, we also do a team um, thing where we'll uh, post we'll actually do a booking blitz for this in our team and uh, we'll post a gobble gobble every time we uh, book one of these so there's so many different fun things that you can do with it and and I just want to see uh, everybody so if you love this if you have some new members on your team or you have some friends that might not know about this please share this with them um, this is something so easy that everybody can do and it's so much less intimidating than telling them to go and book six parties. But you know what? This is essentially six parties because I'm guaranteeing um, um, I'm going to try to get all six of them to get to a party level. Uh, so uh, this this is really, really a great opportunity for our, everyone from who people just coming into the business to um, complete rock star, um, you know, experts in direct sales. Everyone can do this. So that's why it's so fantastic. And uh, you guys will see me next month. We'll uh, get some ideas going for our reindeer romp if you want. So I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Uh, share this with your friends. Join us on Directly Social. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys.